people good morning to everyone and welcome back to our youtube channel so if you are an international student and you are looking for study abroad opportunities or you are looking for universities in europe to actually study probably by february 2024 or by september 2024 then i will encourage you to watch this video till the end because there are three universities in a baltic country in europe i'm going to be talking about them now but first of all before we proceed my name is milton welcome to our channel please subscribe and do not forget to drop a like button because if you like the video youtube is going to tell a neighbor somewhere that we have great content here and it's very useful so please subscribe so today like i said i'm going to be talking about three schools in the baltic region and which baltic region am i talking about i'm talking about a country called lithuania why is it that i want to talk about lithuania the reason is because lithuania is flexible now for international students that is the first reason the second reason is lithuania is a member of the european union and the visa you are going to get which is not the visa but the residence permit is going to permit you to move in and out of other uh, 27 schengen member states and equally in lithuania it is so flexible to move to other places like the uk and the united states of america in case you want to migrate okay these are just some petty petty advantages i'm giving you you should also remember that lithuania is a country of diverse culture and again the advantage is that you are going to study in uh, english language yeah this is something even at bachelor's levels you will study at english language there is no language barrier and the most important thing as an international student in lithuania you are going to work of course part-time to support your academic uh part pathway or milieu or let me say your academics okay so these are some of the few reasons you should put into consideration lithuanian people are very friendly okay and again one thing you should understand about schools in lithuania is that they have a variety of different programs from management to sciences to social sciences and their tuition fee is quite affordable you can actually afford the tuition fee in lithuania oh, but also remember that most of them will ask you a tuition fee schools like uh, clapedia will charge 180 euros for application fee i think the university of vilnius will charge like 100 euros and uh, other universities okay now the three main universities i will focus on here include one casimiro simonavicious university i'm going to put uh, every link in the description box below because this is a video like i said if you want to migrate next year please listen to me keenly and listen to the other videos about lithuania how to go about your visa application this is going to help you a lot the second school i'll talk about is clapedia university and the third school is Vilnius University. Now, Vilnius University is one of those universities in Lithuania which is very populated. Like they have a high rate of programs, like, like many, many programs. So you have a variety to choose from. Okay. Bachelor's degree students, let me start with you. If you want to actually immigrate to Lithuania in 2024, you have to start the work now first let's start with the requirements and before we start with the requirements before we go to the requirements i would like to tell you that i'm checking my jota here i would like to tell you that if you want to study in lithuania there are six stages of the application cycle the very first one is you look for a program in a university the second one is to do your online application the third one is to pay your online fee or to pay your application fee you can either pay online and you can pay using bank transfer but one thing you need to understand with bank transfer is that um, the transfer may be late and you may not know what will happen after that if you are late your application will be rejected so please you have to put this into consideration another thing you need to understand after the application fee has been paid is that they are going to take some time to assess your files then it, if everything is okay you would definitely get an offer letter now when you get the offer letter what do you need to do again you need to pay your tuition fee deposit okay and this tuition fee deposit is the initial tuition fee you actually found on the school website if you want to study 
all programs in Lithuania always have tuition fee. Now, if you are looking for affordable schools in Lithuania, pay attention to Casimira Simonavicius University, Vilnius University, and Clapedia University. Programs in these universities, either bachelor's or master's, begins from at least 2,500. There are even some programs you can study for 2,000 euros per year, some per semester. Then, but like I said, programs are as cheap as 2500 okay for one of the years it depends now on the school you are looking at it depends on the requirements you have and it depends on the program you want to study all these schools i'm talking about their application is actually open for 2024 so please take a look at the websites very well so that you know what you are actually doing okay now we have talked about this let's take a look at some of the programs available for bachelor's programs i will just be listing them randomly like in a random order depending on the school you will just have to check but if you are looking at accounting and audit it is offered for three thousand euros or three thousand and sixty euros accounting and economics and investment uh, english philology is bought at three thousand below three thousand five english and another foreign language below 3000 then you have english and uh, foreign language or fee. in fact english philology and a whole lot of programs they are all available below 3000 like i said the process is you find a program you prepare the documents you pay an application fee you submit your application you wait while they look at the application files or details then get to you via an interview then after that you pay your tuition fee apply for visa and you move now the requirements you need may be very dangerous like um, most schools for bachelors may not need just your work yes you have to take a look at these three schools if you want to apply if i were to advise you i would tell you that apply to all the three schools because it is advantage you of course the application fee may be a lot of money but think about it if you do not pay application fee at the end of the day can you pay tuition fee you cannot pay so you need to put all this into consideration so try to apply to three or four even four schools to increase your chances in case one doesn't take you the other will take you the other will take you all right not all will accept you and not all will reject you if you are equally looking at other programs related to business or business management then these are some of the programs you should consider i will just be checking my device here you could check these three universities like i mentioned mentioned to you you are going to find programs related to human resource management at four thousand dollars all right not dollars by the way but euros right you are equally going to find international and european law they have it life and chemical physics marketing integration management mathematics all below five thousand five hundred okay some are four thousand some three thousand then you have mba as well international communication international business management there are a lot of programs you are just the one to verify to see and please i would emphasize on this again program requirement is very very important program requirement is very very important if you go to the school website and you click a particular program where you want to apply always check because some programs will not accept just your high school certificates for those of you who want to apply for bachelor's degree some programs will not accept just your yx some will not accept just your o and a levels some will not accept just your yc so you have to check to see if they are saying that you have to have an additional program and remember in some of these schools it's going to take some time if you graduated more than two years ago from uni okay what i mean is if your certificate your current certificate is older than two years it's going to take at least months for them to evaluate but if you just recently graduated it's going to take highest weeks for them to bring out um a reason for you or maybe a decision to confirm if you have admitted or not and when admitted the tuition fee that you found before applying okay for the program you have to pay complete tuition fee before you apply now this is my advice for international student please if you can if you have this money to move to lithuania then you should try it lithuania is now very flexible there is no visa again you don't have to go to egypt again you can now move to lebanon jordan or dubai to get the visa 
how are you going to move to these places how do you know that you are going to move to these places only when you have started the visa application on the migri website the immigration uh, department website for lithuania now when you get your offer letter pay your tuition deposit the next thing you need to do is to look for your visa documents um there are documents like uh, your medical insurance all right your hotel booking your flights and a whole lot of orders and like i said you have to scan the entire pages of your international passport it's very very important there is another video i recently did um about studies in lithuania and visa application you might find it on this youtube channel somewhere just check somewhere you are going to find it it's a recent video it's not been long so follow that video keenly and i'm going to repeat the process again now when you are to apply for the visa you have to go to the migri website like i said when you fill the information on the migri website upload your documents they are going to send you details on how to book an appointment with the vfs it is now from the booking details that you are going to select where you want to go to are you want are you going to dubai or jordan or lebanon then you will now choose the date when you upload everything you pay the visa fee if every, any document is lacking within your file or within your pack they are going to call you or inform you to add the document if you do this process it is pretty easy for you to immigrate yes i think it's pretty easy because this time is not a visa it's a temporary residence card or permit right now like i said have the right amount after paying your tuition fee make sure you keep the receipts and upload them on the website you are going to find a list of all the documents on the migri website to upload them i will add a link in the video description box for you to follow up when you fill everything on the migri website and do the payment they are going to send you a number it is that number you are going to use to book appointment at vfs then vfs now when you are choosing you are the one now to choose the country where you are going are you going to dubai lebanon or uh, jordan you are now the one to decide where you want to go to look for a tourist visa or a short stay visa to move to that particular country and for them to check remember those documents you are uploading online you have to take the documents and go with them physical to the office you will take them like you will carry all the documents to the office for them to verify if actually what you uploaded online is okay remember visa fee varies dubai may take more jordan may take less and it depends everything is on the website and if you are looking for a fast track permit not visa but permit you can get everything from the website of the migri or the migri website it's not really a complicated process um if you ask my opinion i would say that lithuania is more flexible now than poland czech republic and germany the reason is because for you to get appointments in these places is totally so tedious you don't even know if you are going to get but actually for lithuania you will get appointments though a country like germany is highly industrialized than lithuania and more populated than lithuania but it doesn't still change the fact that when you are in here it is also very easy for you to immigrate remember you are not going to lithuania with a student visa and you just run away and you enter germany it doesn't work that way okay it doesn't work that day you cannot you can only stay in germany for three months maximum with a visa from lithuania with a visa that took you to lithuania or with a permit that took you to lithuania i hope you understand three months maximum otherwise if you want to stay more than that you have to change it again to the german visa or a document that can permit you stay longer in germany i hope you understand this for proof of funds you need just around 5040 euros in your bank account that's the amount the immigration wants to see but if you have like maybe 4 million or more just put in your bank account remember if you are being sponsored you have to prove who the sponsor is to you sponsorship letters and also show backing documents how did the money come to your account how did you raise the money how did your sponsor raise the money you have to back them up please listen to the other video i did about studies in lithuania as an international student it's not been long i may link it in the video description box and if you need a one-on-one -on -one with me why not book it from the video description box and also follow milton fonkwa and milton fonkwa's consulting on facebook i hope this video helps you till we meet again in another one